Hello everyone, Star 649 here. Um, I know I'm uploading a lot of videos today, but, you know, just kind of messing around with my screen recorder. How did that get up there? So anyways, the Pokemon we're working with today is not Conkeldur, but Sam Slash. This was suggested to me by one of my friends, Trollface Gaming. Link will be down in the description below. But anyways, so... Yeah. Alright, so I guess first we should start off with its stats, but... To be honest, I prefer going with the move sets first. Yeah, hold on a second. There, that's better. Alright, so moves. Let's take a look at what it can learn. Aerial Waste, Body Slam, Counter, Double Edge. Alright, so first we should actually take a look at its stats. Okay, 100 in attack, not terrible. Still pretty good. I mean, these are pretty decently high for an NU Pokemon. Is what I'm saying, so it's probably higher up there, but again, with the special attack and special defense, special defense being its major weakness, I'm guessing that's why, number one, it's down in the lower tiers, it being mainly weak to ground grass. Oh, wait, its weakness is being ground, uh, not ground, ice, grass, and water, if I'm correct, which the majority of are special moves, so we're going to need something that ups its special defense. Alright, so let's take a look. Hmm. Alright. Sleep talk. Hmm. Alright, so first off, what I suggest is some hidden power typings, number one. So it all depends on what you want to go with. I mean, water types and ice types are the most common things you're going to deal with out there. So you either want hidden power grass or hidden power electric. Electric could also help you deal with flying types, but hidden power grass can help you deal with rock types, other ground types. So I'm going to go with grass just because of its wider variety. Alright, so the next thing, hmm, next thing we'll probably want to go with is, I mean, a rapid spin. This is an optimal rapid spinner or for an NU team. I mean, yeah, sure, it has a 65 in speed, but I mean, so let's say we get it choice scarfed and then, you know, get another... Then, like, have it use fling somehow or something. Yeah. Never mind that. So, let's get back to the moveset. I was just rambling. So, let's see. Hmm. Next thing we'll probably want to do is incorporate some kind of ground type move into the moveset. So what I'm thinking, we go with Earthquake because of its decent power and accuracy. Yeah, sure, it hits evasive Pokemon and powers double on dig. But uh, the 10% to lower the target's special defense, I mean, we shouldn't go like that. Plus, this is the physical move which it needs. Then next, we might want to include some... You know, sometimes you might want to put on Protect, just, I mean, because this Pokemon's not going to last long. But, I mean, if it's not going to last long, then I don't see any point. Swords Dan. A substitute, though, that's something you want to get behind. So that way, I mean, you won't have to 
worry about things too much. All right, so substitute. And then if you can get behind substitute for long enough to put on a move such as hmm, sword stance, that way you can help boost your attack even further to the already high special attack. So I wouldn't want to say we go too far in, but... Let's put it somewhere around 274. Yeah. Yeah, 274. Alright. So yeah, 274, 152. So we still have 356. Then I'd recommend putting a good bit in speed. So let's see, the max is 229 with a serious nature. So we probably want to do something that minuses special attack but enhances speed. Let's see. Because, I mean, we still want those defenses, so a jolly nature one would work. So 251... No, probably not around there, but maybe if we go somewhere around, like, 226. Yeah, let's just put it at, yeah, 231. So we still have a 180 remaining. I mean, we've got its attack and speed going up. We aren't going to get much out of... So I guess we should put a little bit into there. I mean, since we are using a special attack move, we might want to change the nature to naive. And, like, put that at 150, and then put the remaining into HP. I know this is a little complicated, but, you know... If it's more of an all-rounded Pokemon, I mean, you got its attack speed good enough to do a decent amount of damage to other Pokemon. So that way, I mean, you will actually put that down in. It doesn't need any HP, but... So, I mean, if we put it down there, then we can also max out its attack give it a that much in speed and still have a good little bit in special attack. All right, so item. If Sandstorm uh, is active, this Pokemon will receive a one point immunity to Sandstorm. Hmm. So actually, you might want to do something a little different. Instead of putting in Substitute with the one... 0.5, we could get rid of Substitute and put in Sandstorm. So that way it could get the evasion boosts it needs. Because evasion is more important than speed in this case. In my opinion, at least. And then you might want to give it something like the Lax Incease. So that way, accuracy of attacks against the holder is lowered, plus the higher evasion boost. Or then again, what you could do, which is another option. Um, sand... Sand Rush isn't also that bad, because if you do that up, the Lax Incis will still be there, and most likely you'll get damage done to other Pokemon. Well, anyways, thank you, and goodbye.